what's going on everybody my name is Peter um, I'm back here with another little video uh, this time on the ring doorbell um, in case you guys are new to this channel I kind of try to do some uh, video demonstrations slash reviews of uh, home automation things I'm trying to probably get into some more you know sound system things um, stuff like that but anywho uh, we're here talking about the ring doorbell um, as you can see I have both the ring pro as well as the uh, the original Ring doorbell and uh, the Ring Shine here. Um, I actually, uh, the Ring uh, Pro is being installed here at my house and uh, this is already actually installed um, at a, a fire department I work at so I'm going to show um, a little clip of this and probably uh, what I did with the chime over there in a little bit. Um, but mainly I'm going to be talking about the Ring Pro um, mainly uh, why I bought it and uh, how it works, things like that. So I'm going to get right into it. Alright, so the Ring Pro, um, first of all, the reason I ended up getting this thing, I've been looking for kind of a solution for my front door, uh, camera-wise, um, for a little while now. As you can see, I mean, I have motion, I mean, I'm sorry, I have uh, regular cameras that record 24-7 set up all around the house, including the front door, and uh, they work great. But, uh, Specifically, I have uh, Smart Things motion sensor out there, and I was going to try to get. Um, I, you probably saw in my last video. I had a, a D-Link IP camera, and I was going to try to set up uh, a motion scene where it, it triggers motion, starts recording, sends me a clip. And Samsung is set up to do that. Smart Things is set up to do that, but it wasn't as good as I expected. Um, so obviously, I, I, I saw the ring, and I, and I think it's going to suit what I need perfectly. Um, mainly, if something is being delivered to my house, I want to know about it, and I want a little clip. Um, if someone rings the doorbell, um, same thing. I want to know about it pretty much right away and have a picture of what's going on. So, um, originally before, I have the motion sensor set up, and it would uh, send me a, a notification, and then I'd pull up my camera DVR app and be able to see what's going on. But I wanted something a little more um, intuitive than that, so... Uh, that's why I ended up getting the ring, and so far, um, this is already actually installed out front, and I will show you it, and I'll show you what's inside the box and everything, and how I kind of set it up, um, but so far it's been really good. Um, I did have to do a few tweaking around with motion settings and, and getting rid of motion notifications, I'm going to explain that in a little bit here, so, uh, but, uh, I think I'm going to open this up, show you at least what's in the box, and then also show you the, uh, the ring set up out there, and, and what it looks like and stuff. Alright, so we're going to do like a little fake unboxing here, seeing as how the ring is already out there and installed. But I figured I'd show you what you get in the box, um, just so in case you guys are curious. So, when you open up the box, obviously you get your ring device right here. And it comes with uh, some cool little de decorative colors you're trying to match the outside of your house. I ended up putting, I think uh, it was like a uh, metal, dark metal finish one. What do they call it? Ven, ven, venetine, I don't know, I give up, that one, <laughs> it looks pretty good, um, so the other thing that this did come with is a power kit, and I will show you that being put in, um, the power kit is, uh, takes the power from your doorbell wire and powers the camera, there is no battery inside of the Ring Pro, now, the Ring, original Ring, um, is battery operated, it can suck power off of a a uh, doorbell if you have it but specifically where I set this up at our fire station there was no power outside so it is running strictly off off battery um, so a little bit you get a little bit less of this you don't get all the fancy covers you can only you can only buy it in whatever color it's in so um, this one obviously being the darker metal and uh, same thing comes with all the instructions and stuff a little diode I don't know what it was for I didn't need it but um, that's uh, that's pretty much this, and I'll show you a little clip of this being set up. So I think uh, I'm going to show you the um, the power kit for this being put in. All right, so here we are, step one of installing the Ring doorbell. Um, I'm not going to lie; I'm just briefly reading through the uh, instruction manual, and uh, I think I got the gist of it. So, anyways, um, this is what's going to be going in the Ring power module. Um, I've got a wicked old doorbell here as you can see. Um, it's kind of funny how these things work. They just got little little chimes. 
Oh, the dog's already freaking out. <laughs> Um, All right, so after reading the instructions, it seems pretty freaking simple. Um, everything's pretty much labeled, ready to go. So we're basically going to be undoing this and putting this little power device in line. And everything's labeled. So right here it says front, uh, transformer, or trans, and rear. So basically we're going to be undoing these and uh, putting this in line. So... Um, so actually, after looking at this thing, it says volts AC, it's 16 volts. Um, not sure what this runs off of, but uh, hoping this is enough. You gotta assume it is, because it's a pretty standard, uh, standardized uh, system. These doorbells. So these quick connects are actually kind of nice. You know, they just lift up and stick the wire right in. So we've done our front now. Now we've got to attach our front back to the doorbell. So that is pretty much all there is to that. I'm going to try to make this nice and neat up in here. Um, Alright, put this uh, old school cover back on. And it's like it was never there. Alright, we'll take a walk outside. I'm going to show you the doorbell actually installed. <clears throat> so... Here it is, um, mounted on the outside of my house. I had to make a little custom bracket for it um, because it would have sat flush against the siding here and it wouldn't have gotten a good view of, of the house. So I ended up uh, just making a couple little L brackets, attaching it, and the wire's tucked back there. You can see it's a little hacked up, but it works. And then there's the, uh, the Smart Things sensor as well. Um, and this actually has a pretty good uh, field of view for the front of the house. It's able to see the street and uh, obviously anyone coming up the walkway. So that's uh, that's what it's like put in. So here's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is a part of my uh, the ring set up here at uh, our fire station. And uh, basically I took the ring chime and uh, kind of hacked it a little bit, put a little wire into the speaker. This actually runs into our dispatch room and uh, goes over the entire uh, speaker system, which is um, which is pretty cool. So basically, we have the ring doorbell set up. When we get a uh, a ring in the front door, not only does it notify uh, some of our department staff, um, but obviously anyone here at the station uh, will hear this ringtone throughout the entire bay, um, and also in the day room, things like that. So um, another cool little thing that the uh, the ring can do. Just wanted to show you guys that. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the Ring app really quick, just to show you uh, what uh, what it looks like. So as you can see, I have both um, doorbells on here, which is kind of nice. So I can see my department's uh, doorbell as well as um, my own. So um, it also has uh, a list of notifications for everything that's going on between both doorbells, which is kind of nice. Um, and that's in one thing. You can also click. Um, a specific doorbell and see um, just the events for that doorbell which is uh, which I think is kind of nice um, they give you a trial for the cloud recording I am paying for mine right now um, we're obviously still deciding on paying for this one but I think we're going to anyways so might, might as well use the trial while you can um, and uh, so yeah I'm actually gonna walk you through um, mine right now I have motions alerts uh, turned off and uh, Actually, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but uh, you can do motion alerts as well as obviously ring alerts. So when someone rings the doorbell, um, I get a text or notification rather, as well as the doorbell ringing. So I'll just show you a nice little live view of out front. Um, and that's uh, really good quality, HD quality. It's got a nice wide um, uh, fisheye optic and also has night vision. It's really good at night. Um, it's able to pull up. Uh, pull up almost the view, almost all the way to the street. That's how well that night vision is in that in that mode. You can share users, which uh, which is something I have set up, especially for the department, which is really nice. Um, and uh, and oh yeah, the motion. So let me show you the motion settings. And this was the main reason I got this device. So obviously, the real advantage between um, the uh, Pro versus the original. And I don't know why, uh, apparently this one has probably just better processing or whatever it may be, 
it can do um, motion zones. So if you click here, and I'm not going to mess with it because it took me a while to get, get it right. As you can see, that little blue uh, line right there, I actually highlighted that and created this as a motion zone, which is great because the problem is with my motion sensor, you can see actually you can see that tree right there, um, and even sometimes it picks up cars, but when these things start blowing around, I get notifications, which is really annoying, so I, I tend to ignore the motion sensor, um, especially on windy days, and the problem is I usually miss things if, if something actually is coming up. So with this, so far it's been really great. We've had some pretty windy weather, and it hasn't picked up the tree moving, nothing. It's only when someone is within this area or at my front door that I get a uh, that it records and and uh, and it, I could get a notification if I want, but I do have it turned off for that. Um, strictly only get notified if there's a ring. So um, now I'm going to talk about the motion alerts and why I have it turned off. The motion alerts work great, very accurate, no false triggers except for when I leave the house. Obviously, I'm walking front my my front door. I get a motion alert, which is it's no big deal, but it's kind of frustrating. Smart things ignores everything, motion wise, text wise. When I'm home, because obviously I'm here, it works off a of geofence. If Ring would just add that simple feature of a geofence and disable motion alerts while my phone is here, it'd be perfect. So that's my only gripe with the motion alerts for Ring. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is, I'll actually pull this up real quick, um, this being a battery powered device is a little bit slower. Um, the rings on it are really good, I have strong Wi-Fi at the station so when someone rings it I pretty much get a text right away, right, I'm sorry, right away and um, the doorbell rings there pretty much right away but I'm going to click this button, live view and as you can see it's saying activating device. Now watch how long this takes. You, I don't know if you remember me pulling up the live video. The other one was pretty fast. So this, not so much. <laughs> and again, I think it being battery powered, um, it does go into some somewhat of a probably sleep mode or something like that. You know, probably just to conserve um, to conserve power. But uh, there you can go. You can see the front um, of the station just fine. So and obviously it still has all the capabilities like talking. Um, you can talk, you can listen, everything like that. Again, when it's when the device is being rang, it's uh, it's very fast. So I don't know. I don't know why they make it so when you click live view, it's just a little bit slower. So, um, but again, you can see the link chimes. The chime there is set up, and it does also also have uh, motion settings. So this, as you can see, is a little bit different than the Pro there's no picture of what's going on you click you just have choices of zones um, obviously we really only wanted someone walks up to the front door as a zone and obviously I have the sensitivity sensitivity um, you know set pretty low so that's the big differences between the pro and the original so alright that's pretty much it for the uh, the ring review I have for you guys um, I think it's a great unit, especially for what I needed to do. I'm just monitoring my front door a little bit better, uh, whether it's a package or a person showing up. Um, it does a really good job, and I've been pretty happy with it. And uh, as far as the Ring original, you know, it being set up at the uh, at the fire station, it's a perfect addition. Um, we just needed to replace a wireless doorbell, and I said, hey, why not get the Ring? So um, it's been really good for that, especially having the, the chime set up, ringing through the station and also having multiple users on this doorbell so after hours we know who's there and uh, you know if there's an issue we can we can check it out so um, hopefully you guys got a little more insight on these and, and uh, if you're thinking about buying them or and uh, if not at least I got to show it off and show you some more of my stuff so again uh, definitely uh, hit some comments up and uh, subscribe to the channel as you can see uh, I'll probably be doing more videos here I got the new Echo Dot. I might be doing a little video on that. Um, it's uh, it's you know something else to add to the system, and uh, a couple other things I've done that I'm gonna try to make some videos on. So, other than that, uh, definitely subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.